Can somebody please explain to me the binding magical contract of the Goblet of Fire? Because it doesn't feel very binding at all. Despite being underage, not wanting to compete, and insisting he didn't put his name in the Goblet of Fire, Harry's told he has no choice but to compete. And that's obviously a big deal because the tasks are dangerous and people have died in the tournament before. So if Harry has no choice but to compete, how come in the second task, he almost oversleeps and misses it completely? Harry fell asleep in the library the night before, and ten minutes before the task is due to begin, Dobby wakes him up. Nobody else has come to get him. And if Dobby hadn't found him, what would have happened? What is this binding magical contract? Is it like the unbreakable vow where he'd just drop dead because he didn't participate in the second task? Harry's just like, no, Dobby, I'm not going to do the task. I don't know how. And Dobby, like, talks him into it. Can Harry just refuse? I thought there was a binding magical contract. Can he just refuse all the other tasks as well? Or, like, curl up in a corner somewhere under the invisibility cloak and sleep through them? It just doesn't feel like that binding of a magical contract if he can just sleep through the tasks or refuse to do them. 